1215, King John held siege to Rochester Castle, but it only lasted for five weeks, and here's the reason why. And while the battle raged above, King John's men dug a tunnel uh, from no doubt to safe distance uh, to undermine the tower on the corner, the South Tower. A thing that, you know, I've done myself many times, underpinning a large tower or a chimney stack. When I was pulling something down, I always used to follow exactly the same procedure. I nearly always won, as King John meant. The thing is here, you can see in great detail on this model exactly what they did. You know, the, the tunnel that they've dug is only a few feet below the surface, uh, hence the excessive amount of props holding up the, the, the fields and the sods and what under the soil. Once they got to the base of the uh, tower, reputedly they burned the fat of 40 pigs on the on the pit props to uh, make them burn a bit better. The order has obviously been given to retreat. The, the fire is now raging. There's a man there with a stick with a fire on top of it like a torch. He's quite excited. There's always that constant worry as to is it going to fall down or is it not? In this case, it all did come tumbling down. Whether it's climbing chimneys to repair them, which is Fred's preferred line of work, or pulling them down, Fred's always lived with danger. survived 40 years climbing up 200 foot chimneys and I, I can honestly say I'm, I've only had a, maybe a couple of dodgy moments where I thought you know bloody hell I shouldn't have done that like you know sort of thing I could have ended up dead you know, you know you've always got that in your mind when you're doing this sort of work that, that this could happen that could happen so it never leaves you you don't get complacent you know that yeah them men end up dead who do that you know plenty easy Yeah, well, we're off to the pub, boy. You want one of them bricks? <laughs> <laughs> 